listen uh, if there's any issue with audio let me know otherwise forever hold your peace <clears throat> so we're just going to play what maybe a game or two i'm not sure exactly how much but uh if there's any issues with audio or the video, let me know in chat. And uh, other than that, remember, Bob's your uncle. So let's go to the, uh, should I go to the main screen? I don't think we'll go to the main screen yet. Uh, why not? Let's go to the main screen. Questions, comments, throw in chat or after the uh, stream, just post in the comments below. And Wargame wants me to look at a friggin' survey. <clears throat> well, folks, what the heck's going on with the screen? What the frig is going wrong with the screen? Only friggin' wargaming. <clears throat> Try this again, see what happens. What the frig is going on? You know, <clears throat> friggin' wargaming is too friggin' much. Let's do it a different way here. No friggin' uh... When it comes to wargaming... <clears throat> you just can't win. Your software is a little buggy if you're trying to use just one computer. I got uh, two separate computers if I want to use a streaming computer, but... Just wanted to get a quick few games in. And, uh, if I go to one screen, like I got a couple monitors. If I go to the other screen, it's gonna friggin' collapse. What the frig? Windows just does weird, wacky stuff. So let's see what happens here now, folks. Do we have full screen here? Cool. If I try to make a change, it'll do something wacky, but uh, I'm not going to make a change. We're just going to go into game. So any... Uh, Questions about audio? Just throw it in chat. And, uh, you can probably hear me typing away. Yeah, it's just doing a quick setup. And, uh, just off the uh, one gaming rig, so. To see how it goes. I'm just gonna switch to the chat. As soon as I friggin' switch something, the big screen's gonna friggin' collapse. I don't know why Wargaming does that. What the friggin', it still doesn't do this. Friggin' software is buggy. <clears throat> ah, what do you care? As long as it comes back up. Okay, so we're on full screen. I don't know why it didn't go to full screen, but now it's just doing a funky positioning. And this is Windows 11, so there's a lot of things not optimized for Windows 11. So that's why I normally use a two PC setup, but now uh, just wanted to get a game or two in, so uh, <clears throat> maybe we can get lucky with a game or two. We're gonna go in the uh, Salem, tier 10, American Cruiser Salem. 
Should have just started up the other computer. Just a lot better to deal with. Just a lot better, mate. Hopefully I'm coming through okay. I'll find out after the stream. I'll download the uh, recording. See how it turned out. But just don't know why Windows 11 does this. Or the game client does this. Just a friggin' royal pain in the butt. Because it wasn't formatting properly on the other screen with the... Uh, with VMAX. Meanwhile, uh, uh, who knows? Just friggin' drive yourself nuts trying to figure out stuff. When it comes to windows. Why wouldn't it be a fair fight, buddy? What is it with these guys? Ah. You got issues with tier A playing against tier 10 ships. You don't blame them in a lot of ways. If they don't know what you're doing, you can get burnt. Even with a friggin' tier 10, you can get burnt. Just one of those things. Hopefully we get some coverage here and some backup. Some of these guys in the center should be helping out the guys at A. Yeah, it looks like two guys are heading over. The DD can cap B quick, get in and out fine, but you gotta be careful doing that. This Marceau ahead of us, it's not a capping DD. We got another DD coming in, and the Daring, which is much better. Torpedoes direct front. Torpedoes dead ahead. I'm sorry, the torps, buddy. We're gonna howl and torps hit hard, too. the friggin' shells do. As soon as the guy disappears, shells do a wonky thing. Come on. Poor Marcel. Poor buddy. Come on, let's get over there. Got some hits on this roof wreck. That's the shells do a totally wacky thing again. Uh, I might get them over. No, they're not going over. As soon as they disappear, the friggin' shells do a friggin' weird thing. Concentrate fire. 
on the designated target. Friggin' Lepanto. Friggin' lucky bugger. Go. Free this thing takes forever. We already have the other cap on the other side, which is good. But now this Lepano can get over there. Come on, friggin' bullshit, friggin' RNG, friggin' aim. Yeah, I wasted a heal. I got two friggin' heals left. I don't know why I let it go through. Now what are you gonna do? What can you do, folks? Can't do too much. Because Darren could light up this other guy, we could start working on him. He's too far back. Friggin' Colombo's gonna run into me. This guy's just not paying attention, man. We could have done a lot more damage there, coordinated better. It's just friggin'. 
You know why these guys get these friggin' BBs that can't play them? Frig hit me from there like that. Friggin' blue Frig. Why isn't this friggin' Columbo working on him? This guy in the Columbo just doesn't know what he's doing. Watch him be a top dog. <laughs> no, I can't go any further. Too dangerous here. Ah, friggin' blue Frig got me. Got me with a good shot too. How do you friggin' do that from there? Well, there's two of these rupees here. Better be two of them because they shouldn't be able to shoot over that friggin' island like that. Unbelievable. <clears throat> This Columbo, he can't shoot at anything. Like, this is just friggin' nuts. And now he's pushing up. Friggin' just getting in the way. What can you do? They're down two, four, five. We're down four. We might still pull it off. Daring's a great gunboat. I don't know why he's not friggin' nailing this part. Well, this Colombo guy doesn't know what he's doing. He's gonna beach himself. He really does not know what he's doing. <laughs> Holy moly. See, the ruprex has got torps also. Like, what's this Colombo gonna do from where he is? Just not thinking out where he's going. Columbo's got an 18-kilometer range on the main guns, no torps. That Ruprecht, he's got great secondaries and he's got torps. Long-range torps. This Columbo's just rigging. I don't think this guy in the Columbo realizes this guy's got friggin' torps. We'll see. You know, what are you gonna do? We'll see. We will see, Monsieur. Oh boy, he's gonna get nailed with these torps. Just watch. Holy crap. Now he got lucky. The guy in the Ruprex not too smart either. That close and he blew that. Friggin' guy in the Clomo just got a free pass. Should be able to take out the root right. It's got a long reload in that Colombo though. Oh, more torps coming. Yeah. Root right finally got him. That free pass didn't last for long. Guy in the Colombo the whole friggin' game. Ruprex toast now, cool. Cool ale. Now we got over at A, we're in a bad situation. We got a friggin' battleship in the cap. And we got a cruiser and a destroyer chasing a friggin' uh, another destroyer. Come on, Oline, get your guns on this guy, pal. Help this guy out. I don't know why the oil line's not helping out. Just turning away. Doesn't make sense. Just playing dumb when my loose friggin' Albemarle took him out. Thank God for that. This guy in the oil line should have been helping out. Could have taken him out earlier. 
Albemarle will be in uh, better health. No, the uh, Albemarle's got a risk of losing his ship. These guys really do not pay attention. That guy in the Ruprecht got a good shot on me, which is very rare, but he got a good shot on me, so he got lucky there. But I was in a tough spot where the Montana was, where that Ruprecht was. Now we got a chance of losing this friggin' game. Why is that friggin' Oland? Battle ends in five minutes. And why that Oland hasn't laid some friggin' torps on that Montana does not make sense. Montana's been there for a long time. He's finally letting torps go. Now it's a long distance. The chances of them hitting, eh. Maybe slim. You guys got to have at least a 7.5 kilometer detectability range. Why you laid them that far away? I don't know. We may get lucky. We'll see. No, those tarps are way friggin' off. Not even close. Then the Yu Yang's gonna take out the Oland. Oh, jeez. Freaking games just get more and more hilarious. Now the friggin' Oland's trying to go one on one against the Yu Yang. Holy crap. Friggin' Yu Yang's got better guns. The old line's not going to win. Why, did he friggin', why didn't he do it with the other one? When the Albemarle was all over him. Just, guy doesn't make sense what he's doing. Just friggin'. Oi. What can I say? We're going to lose the game just because of friggin'. I didn't help. I still have 56k in damage, the but uh, about to win. I got into a tough position there, and that Ruprecht got a lucky shot on me. Took my last health, half health. Not sure how he got those shells over that friggin' island, though. It's a tough island to shoot from behind. But the Colombo just throughout that whole side on that flank was positioned totally wrong. Daring's still alive, but uh, we're going to lose the game. Reds deserve accolades for that game. <clears throat> Our team just did not play well. So they got one, two, three, four, five ships left. Our daring's toast. We only got one left. The Ruprecht, and he's going to be a low health too. Yeah. He stands no chance, baby. No chance at all. It's too bad. Too friggin' bad. Hmm. Interesting concept. Too friggin' much, man. Is 
gonna be a loss. Definitely a loss. Team score. Yeah. Freaking guy, uh, there was only one roof rack. Freaking, you would have thought there was two on that side. <laughs> Why is that? Why is that? Really like to see what he uh, managed to get on me there. Took a 51k with 10 hits. How do you manage to friggin' average five grand a hit? Come on now. Friggin' gun. I've got that chip. The guns are not that good. But even look at the Lepanto got four for 9,300. These guys got lucky. See, and look at the Montana. Montana's got better guns than both of them. Five hits and only 2,700. So between the Lepanto. In the root break, they just got lucky with their hits. Simple as that. RNG was uh, in their favor. Go to the survey later. Get out of the way there, buddy. Move you out of the way. Grab a container. Get resources. Always take resources, find they're the best value. Okie dokie. Okay, now it's going over. Let's see what happens. Okay. Why is that friggin' uh I just don't get it folks. Friggin' windows just doing wonky friggin' stuff. Where's my friggin' pointer? Holy crap. Holy crap, holy. Let's check out uh, friggin' VMAX. Why is that going over there like that? I'd rather do this with the VMAX. But, okay, let's see what happens. Just going to screw around with the screen a bit. Okay, I think I can do it now. Always something funky happening, boys. Always doing the funky. Okay. Now we should have a full game screen. Uh, I don't know why it wasn't working before. Okay. So go back to the camera. So this should come through now. This should be going through. Just friggin' Windows weird stuff. And the problem, a lot of the problem I find is with uh, just wargaming software. Just friggin' weird. Just like that, baby. Just like that. Back in with the uh, Salem. Let's see what happens, kids. Going immediately into battle. Questions, comments, throw in chat. I won't be able to see it because as soon as I go to the other screen and switch to uh, the comments section, the main screen will just friggin' flunk out on me. Now, there's a way to do that. Now, I just may be able to do it. I'll try experimenting with it later, because normally I just don't do a single PC uh, stream. But just ease of use, doing it quick, just figured I'd do it tonight. So let's hope everything's going okay. Oh, geez, we're in a tough bind here. Which way should we go? We're going to go A. Let the team know we're going A. Good day, lads. Away we go. Let's see what lineup we have. 
mostly tier 10, couple of tier 9s. Nobody I know on each team, so that's okay. QQ7 in the small ends. Guy might be a half decent player, we'll see. Small ends is always an interesting ship to play against. I like it, but they nerfed the range on it, so you know, gotta be it's a tricky ship to play. This Salem can be a tricky ship too, but I love it though. One of my favorite ships. We are detected. Uh, friggin' the Yamato. Guy's got friggin' huge range. And in so friggin' close. I've got no choice but to pull out. Guys just shouldn't be in this far. Just doesn't get it. Same with the Friedrich de Roche. These guys want to push in, push in. Wonder why they lose these big ships so fast when we lose games. They just don't get it. Ah, oh, crap, we got a Stalingrad off to the side. Better go with the Petro over there. Oh, that's not hidden. Hopefully this Lepanto doesn't nail me. Okay, I nailed number three there. Again, got a fire on him finally. Got to watch that Stalingrad off to the side, though. And he's behind that island. Cool. Ron, DD, what are you doing there, Clabert? We need you to spot, buddy. Oh, boy. Freaking Lopanto's primed to get taken out. Where are those guys going to be? Okay. That's what I was hoping to get. It's working this Lepanto now. We need the friggin' Clabert to friggin' spot this Lepanto for us.
Friggin' fall short there. Weird. Just friggin' weird the way these shells go. RNG's either working with you or it's screwing you over big time. There's no in between. Come on. Come on, spot guys. We need some spotting, lads. Oh, we got an Ohio coming. Big friggin' guns on this guy. Come on, RNG. Friggin' you go at the friggin' uh, ship line. They fall short. You go above and then you go over. Give us a break, will you? Now, we got to watch this Ohio. He's got really good guns here. <clears throat> How's this friggin' Lepanto getting over? How's this friggin' Lepanto getting these shots over there? Oh, jeez. Amazing. Ah, oh, frig. Gonna get nailed by this Ohio. Just can't move quick enough. Come on. It's the only thing without the friggin' engine boost for 50% standstill, you get hurt here. Hopefully, these torps hit. These guns hit hard. Yeah, it took a lot of work, but we finally got that friggin' guy out of there. <clears throat> what happened to the rest of our team? There is the rest of our team. Holy frig. Oh, no. <clears throat> Not looking good, boys. Not looking good. Uh, 
Got to work on this thunder now. Uh, we need caps for three to their four. We need caps. I'm half health. The Des Moines still in good health. They've got what a curve first. Des Moines, Smolensk, and a Yu Yang still. Not looking good, Jeps. Not looking good. Yeah, we're not going to get this game, folks. Game over. Hey, what are you going to do? You win some, you lose some, right? Holy moly. But this is more indicative of a normal game with this ship for me anyways. You know, the other time, sometimes it happens. That's what happens when you drive a cruiser. You can get friggin' wiped out with one shot. I've had it happen many times over the years. Not a ton of times, but it's happened. So we came number one overall on our team. And a uh, guy in the Smolansk, as I said, QQ7... You always got to watch that. He played well. But not that much you can do, folks. See if uh, any of the clan mates are on tonight. Antrim was earlier, but he's off, off the air now. What are we doing for time? Oh, I got to work tomorrow. So I'm I'm gonna have to probably I'm gonna have to sign off, guys. So listen, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Everybody, stay safe. Be good, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Okay. But most importantly, stay safe. Remember, love and peace. Take care, everybody. Talk to you soon. Ciao for now. That's the wrong friggin' uh, the wrong friggin' button I pressed. Okay, take care, folks. Why does it friggin' do that? Holy crap, man. Didn't ask it to do that. Holy crap.